Hi students, this is Ramalakshmi, Physics teacher. Today I am going to discuss about the gravitation chapter. Okay, let us start our topic. We know about the shape of the earth. Earth is spherical in shape. Where we are living, either on the surface of the earth or inside the earth, we are living on the surface of the earth. We are living on the surface of the earth, it is spherical in shape. How can it is? There is no slipping. Yes, there is no slipping. Because earth binds with a force. All the objects on the surface of the earth, each and everything, it binds on its surface. So this binding force is nothing but we call the gravitation. So because of the gravitational force only, we all are without any slipping, we all are bind on the surface of the earth. Okay, only at the how the gravitational force of attraction? No. In the universe, each and every object have the gravitational force of attraction. So, okay, in the universe, each and every object have the gravitational force of attraction. So, now when you drop this marker, it falls on the surface of the earth only. But we are not observed, earth accelerates towards this marker. But marker accelerates towards the earth. What is the reason why we are unable to see the acceleration of the earth towards this marker? So let us discuss uh, about that topic. How can we calculate the gravitational force of attraction? So first, the gravitational force of attraction calculated by using Newton's universal law of gravitation. So what is Newton's universal law of gravitation? In the universe, each and every object have the gravitational force of attraction. This gravitational force of attraction is directly proportional to the product of their masses. Let us take two masses. Mass of the first object, let it be capital M. And mass of the second object is a small m. And now these two objects are separated by a distance r from their centers. This is the line joining from their centers. And R is the distance of separation between these two objects. The gravitational force of attraction in between these two objects is directly proportional to product of their masses. And it is inversely proportional to square of the distance of separation between the two bodies. When distance of separation between the two bodies increases, then gravitational force of attraction decreases. So by using these two relations, we write in single relation that is Ft proportional to m m by r square. And remove the proportionality symbol and write a constant. Fg is equals to g m m by r square. Here what is the G? What is capital G? Capital G is called universal gravitation constant. This universal gravitational constant at everywhere in the universe this value is a constant. By using this relation write the formula for the gravitational constant. G is equals to F R square by M M. And what about its value? 6.67 into 10 power minus 11. And unit of the force we know Newton and distance meter and mass kg. So it becomes 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. This is the value of a gravitational constant, universal gravitation constant. The force of attraction in between the two bodies calculated by using this formula. Okay, this is a gravitational force of attraction in between the two bodies. Even though these two bodies have the different masses, gravitational force is a only pulling force, only attractional force. There is no pushing, that means there is no repulsion. Only gravitational force is the attractional force. With how much force of attraction for the first body, the second body also have the same force of attraction. 
that means in between these two bodies uh, that the gravitational force of attraction is uh, constant but we know newton's second law of motion so according to newton's second law of motion we know the equation of uh, force f is equals to m a so for this body smaller mass gravitational force of attraction f t is equals to m a and for the first body also gravitational force of attraction is constant mass m acceleration let it be a dash and now from this relation it is very clear to us which one constant here gravitational force of attraction is constant so by using the, this relation we write a inversely proportional to mass that means mass of the body increases then acceleration due to gravity that means the sorry acceleration of the body towards the object is decreases acceleration decreases mass decreases acceleration increases so both are inversely proportional to each other so here uh, which body have the more acceleration this is smaller body have the more acceleration because of the lighter mass so let us take a stone when a stone is in freely falling condition at the attracts the stone same time stone also attracts the earth towards it so in between these two bodies uh, gravitational force of attraction is constant but mass of the stone is a uh, highly neglected very 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 small when compared to the mass of the earth that's why acceleration of the stone is very very high when compared to the acceleration of the earth so that's why only it is visible only the acceleration of the stone on the surface of the earth but uh, actually the two bodies have the force of attraction but uh, because of their masses uh, which acceleration is uh, visible to us the acceleration of the stone next uh, uh, try to understand the another application of the gravitation we know all planets revolving around the sun and the satellites revolving around the planets so our natural satellite moon moon is the natural satellite of the earth moon mass and earth mass comparable but mass of the moon is less than the mass of the earth the force of attraction in between moon and the earth is uh, same it is same okay but the mass of the moon is less that's why moon accelerates more towards the earth when compared to the earth so the rotation of the earth or uh, the revolution of the earth around the uh, the revolution of the earth around the sun is uh, only because of the gravitational force not only the earth the all planets revolving around the sun because of the reason of the gravitational force of attraction next how can we calculate the acceleration due to gravity when any object uh, is on the surface of the earth you just drop the object uh, it is in freely falling condition it falls on the surface of the earth here acceleration is created because of the gravity that pulling force is a gravitational force of attraction so that's why we call that is acceleration due to gravity so by using the relation fg is equals to ma and fg is equals to g mm by r square take equation 1 and take this is equation 2 so here gravitational force is same in these two bodies equate these two equations 1 and 2 ma is equals to g mm by r square here mass of the lighter body cancelled acceleration is equals to g m by r square but this acceleration is uh, because of the gravitational force of attraction that's why we replace the a with the g so what is the formula for the acceleration due to gravity g m by r square acceleration due to gravity is calculated by using the formula g m by r square where g is gravitational constant m is the mass of the celestial body here r is the distance of separation between the object and the celestial body 
So what are the units of acceleration due to gravity? This is simply nothing but the acceleration. So SI unit of acceleration due to gravity meter per second square. Meter per second square. I hope we understand clearly about uh, Newton's universal law of gravitation, gravitational constant and acceleration due to gravity. Thank you.